Which Have you tried putting it in your coffee? Oh, <laughs> I wish I could know. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Doctor. How are you doing today? Good evening, Ali. Thank you. I'm doing well. Yes. So, just want to understand what is it about nature aquariums that you know draw you to it? It is something like you know you have a bit of nature inside your living room of your house. It's something to connect with because all of us live in concrete jungles. And uh, this is something which takes you back to your basics and it just makes you feel comforted, relaxed and different at the end of a busy day. So that's good, definitely, you know, it's it's needed for today's world and you know the concrete jungle that is there. But uh, you know, compared to I'm saying plants indoors to a nature aquarium, what's the difference? It's just that flowing water, the feeling of flowing water, it's that feeling of zen which you get, the sound of the water trickling, which makes it a little different from just having greenery in the house. And I think that's what gives the soothing touch to the entire hobby. So, Doc, uh, basically they say, you know, uh, doctors or, you know, cardiac surgeons are compared to, you know, work as artists mm -hmm. on the human body. So this is art underwater. Mm. So how do you relate to both? Well, the art part is the common factor. However, there is a difference. You know, when we do our professional lives, we do it with a particular end point. We know what the end point is. The goal is there. Yes. Whereas with the hobby, we have to let it evolve. It's open-ended. You don't know. You do an aquascape, you really don't know how it will turn out at the end. It's only after a year or so you know what you're looking for. Whereas at work, it's you know your dead point. You know exactly what you have to for. save a life. Yes. Yes. yes, which is the most important thing. Yes. And that's what makes the hobby interesting because it's open ended. There are no goals. There are no tick boxes. It's just something which flows. Sit back, relax, yes. and enjoy yes. the flow of the water. Yes. yes. Well, we all know we're we're going through this uh, pandemic. The first that we've been through in the generation around us, and you've been a COVID warrior, and you know you've helped so many people get through this pandemic. So through these stressful times, it's been stressful, you know, with the lockdown and no movement, and then little movement, and again stops and starts, and we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's been life has been so uncertain. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the nature aquarium helped you? With, you know, to basically move through your stressful times? In my case, I think the aquariums itself are a great stress buster. It's like a small world which is inside the living room of your home. And you just sit there, you just see its inhabitants take on their role in their small little world without a fear or concern in their lives because, you know, everything is perfect for their needs. Unlike our real-time lives, where everything has a level of stress. So that's something which breaks the stress part of your professional life and it lets you recharge your batteries without too much to worry about. So basically, in a day, how much time do you get to spend with your fish? Oh, yeah, I could spend as much as I could, but uh, by the time I get home, I probably spend about at least an hour or hour and a half in front of the tanks, just watching them. Watching so that's time your by. recharge oh, time. Yes, basically. absolutely. That is the biggest plus point. And it's just nice, you know, put your hands into the water, do a little trimming here and there. It just feels different. Truly, it does. So I believe, you know, you have a lot of friends, you know, family and guests coming over. And of course, it's not something they see usually, you know. Oh, of course, maybe a fish tank, but... Not some, you know, uh, nature aquarium and, you know, these kind of aquascapes and they understand your love for this underwater world. Mm -hmm. So what are the kind of reactions you get from, you know, these people, some, some you know, anecdotes perhaps? Yes, the, the commonest reaction is a wow. Okay. But the next most funny thing I get to hear is, are the plants plastic? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, it's just the shine on them, it's just that when you get your parameters right, it just looks so glossy and nice, so people actually think they're silk plants. 
I have to convince them that they are not. Right. So, so people are taken aback. They don't yes. know this kind of an environment yes. exists in nature. Yes. Yes. Of course, it's 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 fast depleting yes. because of urbanization. Yes. But there still exists something like this. Yes. Yes. Because most of them feel that it is a humongous effort to keep something like this going. But uh, when I try to tell them that it's actually not that difficult, people actually don't believe it. But uh, I think it's it's a hobby, it's a mindset which you have to evolve. Things which are an effort in the start when you get on with the hobby become more as a matter of routine as time catches on. And then when your tank matures, there's nothing much for you to do. Right? So what is your favorite fish? The one behind me, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the ultimate the fish are okay. right behind and they by far are my favorite. Because I've, as I grew up in this hobby, I always thought that they were the most difficult fish to keep. But yes, they are by far my favorite fish. So let's look at plants. What's your favorite plant? The coffee folio, okay. which is right in the front, which people deem as a plastic plant. It's just a variegated pattern. Which Have you tried putting it in your coffee? Oh, I wish I could know. <laughs> you should try sometimes. Yes, yes. And bring yes. out the and aroma in the coffee. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, Doc, uh, we're living in this stressful world, you know, so we have a lot of IT people who are working from home and, you know, we see a lot of cardiac arrests happening. Yes. You know, and, uh, of course, life from those days back to now have been more stressful. So, what kind of advice do you want to give the generation out there? You see all the hearts, yes. all kinds of hearts possible. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, what kind of advice would you give them to, you know, kind of get their pressure in the right frame yes. of mind, basically? Yes. yes. That they understand that life is not just about stressing themselves, mm -hmm. but it's about sitting back and enjoying mm -hmm. their life and yes. lead a good, healthy life. Yes, because in my opinion, I think stress is a state of mind. It will only work on you to the level you let it work on you. If you have something to unwind, if you something like what they call in colloquial terms a mojo, you need to develop a hobby, something which you know snaps in and out of your daily life where you can switch off completely from the outside world and relax. I think that is what is important. Something like this certainly provides the means to achieve that. Something without stress. Yes. 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 Thank you so much, Doug. Thank you so much. It's been much a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope they learn and understand and see you as an example in the coming days. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.